And the teacher reported to have sodomized 19 schoolboys at Salaga SN Police Grips. Head of Public Affairs of the Savannah Regional Police Command, Inspector Ijekumu Wusu, who spoke to Alfred Okans on 3FM, said the teacher confessed to sodomizing 10 schoolboys aged between 13 and 15. At the moment, investigations are almost completed and the suspect will be arraigned before court. After the preliminary investigation, we realized that the allegations leveled against the teacher, Juan Nantoma Musa, is somehow true that we need to go and prove it in court. In that, the uh, suspect in question has admitted, has admitted sodomizing some of the pupils who are our, our uh, 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 witnesses in the case. So that means he can be prosecuted. How many children did he admit sodomizing? Initially, he admitted two, but further investigation revealed that the, the, the children were 10 in number. Uh, form twos are in, form three students are in, and uh, 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 if my memory serves me right, uh, two of them are in form one. Well, meanwhile, a parents of the 19 school boys say they do not have the money after their children had been referred to the Tamale Teaching Hospital for medical examination. Our Savannah Regional Correspondent Christopher Amwako reports. What we do know now is that the victims who were issued with police medical form to uh, go to the Salaga Government Hospital for medical examination were unable to go through the process because the hospital authorities uh, told them they do not have the requisite uh, capacity to be able to take them through the examination and for that matter referred them to the Tamale Teaching Hospital uh, for the medical examination. But one worrying situation is that the parents are saying that they do not have the money to be able to travel all the way to Tamale to, uh, uh, for this medical examination to be conducted on the victims. So now the victims are still working in the Kulpi community uh, because of this situation. And so unfortunate that parents cannot pay for the medical examination. It is indeed very worrying because then we're going to get to the end of these issues that come up. Mm. Meanwhile, a psychiatrist and child adolescent mental health expert with the Confanochi Teaching Hospital in Kumase is advocating counselling support for the alleged victims. These children are so obviously having fallen for um, the method chosen by the um, assailant. It shows that these children are not fully matured enough to have been able to deal with the situation. And so in helping these children, we will first have to work, work on their self-esteem. We we'll have to understand their level of development. And that requires psychological evaluation of these children. Some may be traumatized and therefore they might need um, psychotherapy. And they might have to be taught how to be able to tell such uh, cases apart so that they don't fall victim to future um, um, incidents if they come across such situations. And yes, um, keeping their identity um, concealed and not revealing their identity is very important in dealing with stigma. Well, so what we do know is that the, the teacher was arraigned before court earlier today. And we understand that he used to give these boys the money. Because you know, the question is why they stayed silent for the past five months that this had been going on. Apparently, they, he was giving these boys money. 
and two of them sustained injuries and reported to their parents, leading to what we are seeing right now. So we're knocking on the doors of the Ministry of Gender, Children and Social Protection as we continue the focus on this particular story. As and when we get responses, we will let you know.